like and subscribe watch the video to the end we do an in-depth breakdown a lot of good information a lot of different perspectives so let us know what y'all think we appreciate the support man nathan will probably look back and be a little upset that he didn't make a little bit more competitive because he survived way better than when people gave him the chance to but at the same time he was still very dominant like so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what's next for umar and omega medoff and the first thing first we on the ufc .com's official website looking at the rankings in the Bantamweight division. Like, Adrian Umar, like, he's not really ranked now. So it's, like, uh, pretty much, like, he's not ranked in the well, top yeah. 15 or yeah. whatever. So, like, uh, it depends on what his ranking would be. Yeah, um, well, the number 15 is Adrian Yanez. So that's the first thing I was about to say is. Yeah. The number 15 is Adrian Yanez. So he just actually got up there himself. They had to put him up there after what he did last week. That was yeah. crazy. So now for Umar... I know Jack Shore has a fight coming up. I know Sean O'Malley has a fight coming up. I don't think they will sacrifice Frankie Edgar like that. Ooh. You don't think they would do that, do you? Like, Ooh, that, I, but no. I, I think this is the perfect fight for him, bro, if what? you look at the nah. rankings. Because, like, everybody else, like, outside the top ten. Yeah, because Ricky got a fight coming up. Pedro got a fight coming up. I think Sungi Dong got a fight coming up. Dominic, the only person who don't have a fight, and they just recently had a fight, is Rob Funt. Mirab is fighting... Jose, Marlon is fighting Dominic Cruz. But they but they too far ranked high though, man. Like realistically, yeah. he's gonna probably fight somebody like So he probably fight the loser of like Jack Shore and yeah. Ricky uh Simmon probably. Yeah. And uh honestly, yeah, that's probably what they're gonna do. Because they're probably gonna make or, or the loser of Pedro Munoz and Sean O'Malley. That would mm. that'll make some money right there. I ain't mm. gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie, because I don't think they would sacrifice Adrian. Because mm. I feel like I feel like Umar would beat Adrian right now just stylistically. But I ain't going to – nah, Adrian takedown defense ain't really been testing the UFC yet because he's been cleaning people up so bad. And he's been also fighting strikers. Yeah, I don't think he has a chance nah, against Umar. He's going to mix it up, man. It, it's not just uh, he's a wrestler. I know. He, he's real good at mixing up the strike and the kicks with the wrestling. Uh, yeah, Adrian like, is too it, much And then Adrian is, it just pretty much just became a star last week. So I don't think they would sacrifice a Nomega Medov and Adrian Yandez. So, both of them got bright futures ahead of them. So, I think they're going to go in two separate directions for the moment. But, man. But, but I will say this, though. If Pedro Munoz lose, that will be three in a row. And so, that would make him perfect to fight. Umar. Umar. But then Umar can get tested. Because what happened is, if he could beat Pedro, a guy who is, at this point, kind of almost becoming like a Neil Magny. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can beat Pedro, you can go to the next level type yeah, person. yeah, pretty much. Because he, he can beat a lot of people outside of the top 10, but he can't beat a lot of people inside of the top 10. So he's kind of like that gatekeeper. And we can't act like he's not losing to people in top five. Exactly. Man. So he's not losing to scrubs. He, he's losing to people that uh, most people can't beat. Dominic Cruz, Jose Aldo, and who else he lost to? Most people can't beat those people in a row. So it ain't, it ain't uh, let's say, Sean O'Malley if he loses Saturday. Yeah. I mean, who can beat Dominic Cruz, Jose Aldo, and Sean O'Malley in a row? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, but that will put him in a position where he's kind of on a decline coming out the rankings. And Umar would need a good fight like that, a good tested veteran who's been at the elite level, even though he didn't necessarily, he ain't necessarily excelling up there. At least we don't know what he'll do Saturday if he beat Sean or not. But if Pedro was to lose, the Umar fight would be good. Again, I keep looking at Frankie Edgar's name. I just don't know. Frankie Edgar, he has a history of fighting up and coming stars. Like one of the good performances he had was yeah, against man. Yair, which a fight nobody gave him a chance. Yeah, he and uh I mean up like other than uh Frankie Edgar's age. Yeah. But uh if it wasn't for that, if he was a little bit younger, uh he uh, like he have a good chance against Umar. Yeah, but that's just uh, he's like forty he's older now, so I mean And I'm gonna go see what song your dong got coming up, man, because no, you think that'll be too dangerous of a fight. I think he's too far up in the rankings though. Yeah, he kinda making his way up. Yeah, you're right. He making his way up. So that that might be too dangerous. And he also got a fight against Corey Sanhagen. That's actually interesting. We'll make a video on that one. But hey, the Rob Funk fight, because the thing is, yeah. Rob has shown I think Rob Funk might actually be a good fight because and, yeah. Rob has shown he'll get to the top five. He get and, on then, the and then it'll just go out yeah. the window for whatever reason. That might be a good fight against Umar because stylistically, like even though Rob has been fighting some of the top guys. Stylistically, yeah, and he I'll, might put it on Rob. Though. Yeah, and also you have to think about this: like uh, Rob Funk, he's ranked number seven now. He's definitely going to drop down. 
He might be ranked like number like ten or eleven. Yeah, because Sean O'Malley and Pedro and them fighting and then them. Yeah, so he might he'll he'll drop down depending on how these other fights play out, and he'll kind of move down the rankings. So he but might. So he might actually be in a good position. So look, Rob Funk potentially, Frankie Edgar potentially, the loser of Pedro Munoz and Sean O'Malley, especially if the Sean O'Malley keep beefing with so many people in the, yeah. in the UFC and you lose, they might throw you Umar and like feed you. To potentially the loser of Jack Shore and Ricky Simmons. Those are all some good, decent fights. Hey, let me, yeah, let me say this, man. I think, like, um, do you think some of these ranked fighters will prefer to fight Umar over? Because we got some killers in Tough 15, man. We got some killers, bro. And, and Umar think, is literally and like he's one not, of them. And he's talented. I'm not going to say he's not talented. He's, like, he's a killer himself. But we got some proven killers in Top 15. Yeah. So I think, like, somebody like uh, like uh, Frankie Edgar or, like, Rob Funt, they probably would prefer to fight Umar Definitely. rather than, like, uh, Song Yadong. If you think about it, well, it depends on stylistically because like somebody with a good wrestling background probably wouldn't mind it all that much. You know what I'm saying? But if you're one of these guys who primarily win with your striking, I, I just don't know if that'll be the like for Rob Funt. Like stylistically, I don't know if it'll be favorable. It'll be a good fight for Umar, but stylistically, I can see that. I can see that guillotine uh, a mile away. I can see that just happening. You, like, I ain't gonna you lie. talking about Rob Funt doing the guillotine? Hell Umar? No. Absolutely oh, I was not. about to say hell no. no. Umar. I'm saying I can see that guillotine. And, that might, and Rob Funt might be the weakest person with all due respect in the top 15, like, stylistically. Because at the end of the day, Umar got to fight somebody. And they definitely going to push this uh, Nomega Medal. They going to push that last night. He just won last night in a crazy way. Like So he literally has no choice but to start fighting some of these guys. So somebody got to get it. Uh, I hope Frankie don't take the fight. Like I said, maybe we'll we'll have to see what Ricky Simmons and uh, Jack Shore do. Maybe the loser of that fight, or uh, hell, maybe the winner of that fight too. Actually, you yeah. never know. But y'all, let us know what y'all think. Like, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Help us build the channel up and go check out the rest of the material we're dropping for UFC 276. Thank you for.